Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thanks for watching my new video. Oh, oh. I created this look for you guys. I actually really love it. This look is going to be beautiful no matter what eye color you have, no matter what eye shape you have, because, you know, because this is a look. Also in this video, I did something really different, something that I would never, never actually really do because I'm not really into it. But now that I did it, I'm like, hmm okay so if you guys want to know how i created this look i mean this is a look admit it then keep on watching so let's start with our base i actually applied a new product that i've used today for the first time but i can't talk to you guys about it because it's still a secret it's it, it's not said that it's a secret but it, it is it hasn't launched yet and i don't want to spill the tea but i'm wearing it right now just a tiny bit and it has kind of like a sort of glow and you're supposed to wear it underneath your foundation or on its own and i used a tiny bit but it looked really good really good i also applied unicorn essence from farsali on my face not as a primer but just you know as a base as a serum and i'm going in with Too faced hangover primer as usual I'm going to apply quite a lot because my face my skin is super dry right now Although I have spots, I have like acne spots again. I'm so afraid I'm going to get acne again. Fingers crossed that that won't happen. And then for foundation, I wanted to go in with the Power Fabric from Armani. As you can tell, this is so not my shade. So I'm quickly going to check if I have another color because this is just not going to happen. <laughs> so I'm just going in with the Luminous Silk Foundation in number seven, although I think this is going to look a little dark as well. I think we have to use a little bit of the natural beige from... This looks... Everything looks dark. I don't know what's happening. Maybe it's because of the camera. Let me swatch this real quick. I've never used this shade. Oh, that's not too bad. It looks darker in the packaging. Do you see that? Ooh, that's actually really pretty. It is going to look a little warmer, but you guys know I just love that. So I'm going in with number seven. And I'm going to use my Zoeva face finish brush i actually really like this brush the last time so i'm going to use it again because you can really build up coverage with this and you can actually really blend everything with this very easily by the way an update on my piercings thank you guys so much for all the advice you gave me because it really helped i uh, what i do is i actually apply a little bit of antibacterial soap every day with a q-tip on my piercings and that helps um, I also use a little bit of a sea water, so sea water, geez, salt, sea salt water, um, hot boiled water, and then I put a little bit of sea salt in it, and that helps as well. But every morning it still looks, you know, because I think I sleep on it. I try not to sleep on it, but that's kind of like impossible. So I don't know. I'm kind of like in this circle where it heals and then it opens up again, and then it heals and it opens up again. So I'm not sure what to do. I actually really want to replace them with like rings, but I'm too afraid to like get them out. So I'm not sure what to do. Actually, seven is a pretty nice color from the Luna Silk. Do you see, by the way, how red my shoulders are? I asked my husband to really like give me a one minute massage and then it got all red. So sensitive, I'm so sensitive. So since we're using Armani, I know Armani is not the cheapest brand out there. You know, it's actually quite expensive. But they make so good like base products they are like buttery and they're just when it comes to face products honestly they're next level so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my favorite corrector i haven't used a corrector for such a long time i don't know if you can see some purpleness going on today is actually not that bad but i can have really bad under eye circles and that's when this baby comes in because i love to use the corrector from armani this is number two i think yeah number two and I believe, I, I, I feel like this is the best corrector out there because it's super sheer. You don't need a lot. The peachy color is perfect to conceal. So that's it. That's actually a, too much, but you know, I'm just not a regular consumer that applies just a tiny bit of makeup. We need some makeup. We need to cover up. Yeah, I can show you the magic of this corrector already. Do you see that? That's not even a concealer. 
just a corrector. Now I'm going in with a concealer, obviously Jua High Covering Concealer. Doesn't need to be high covering, but you can do high covering. Um, but what I really love about this one is that it's not cakey at all. It's not drying. It's actually a very, very good concealer. Also going to highlight with this down the nose. Okay, going in with my Beauty Blender. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cream contour. Um, actually, I watched a video from, um, what was it, Amy's Makeup Box, and I thought it was Makeup Amy, no. Amy's Makeup Box, and um, in one of her recent videos, she actually explains everything that she learned from the masterclass from Makeup by Ariel. I went to the gym, but I wasn't feeling like doing cardio. Um, so, but I, then I watched her video for 15 minutes, 50 minutes, and you know, I had a cardio session. I had learned some skills from Makeup by Ariel. So that's a very helpful video. I will link that in the description box below. According to her, he went in with a fluffy, big kind of fluffy brush. I think it was even bigger than this one, but um, he went in with this and cream contoured in a very rough way. So nothing too precise and nothing too like with stripes and all what I usually they do so uh, i'm just going to try to do that and see what happens so i have my laura mercier palette right here and i'm going in with this contour shade right here i think i maybe mix it a little bit with uh number two so this one and this one and then we just go in the hairline that's what i love to do as well oh wow actually that looks really good so far super natural okay i honestly think that looks way better than what I did. It's so much more blended. It's so much more natural. And oh, I don't know, it's, it looks really good. As if I'm not really like, extremely contoured, but I am a little contoured. I was actually super confused to see how much powder he apparently uses. I was like, this can't, oh, this can't look pretty in real life. And I know it was meant for camera and photography and, you know, videos, but still it was like, oh, that's a lot of powder. I usually don't like to powder as much, but I'm going to give it a try and see what happens. So oh, you really should watch her tutorial. Um, I think she baked what I also do. And then she baked also underneath her eyes, what I don't like to do, but we'll see how it goes. I'm going to use Huda Beauty in Blondie. I've never used this shade, but it's a beautiful yellowish shade. And I'm going to try to like bake and define my contour with this. Okay. So I'm going in with my beauty blender. Then she brought it to her mouth. Like right there. I believe she also baked right here. I'm not sure anymore. Like right there. Now I'm taking a lighter shade. This is a Fit Me from Maybelline, one of my favorite um, translucent powders to use for, like to set my under eyes. Okay, so now I'm going in with this one. She used quite a lot, like a lot. Oh my goodness, is this even going to look good? And then she actually used it everywhere where you would apply your concealer, your highlighter. So just a tiny bit here. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, it feels super powdery already. But maybe it will look beautiful on camera. I have no idea. And then actually, I think she applied bronzer, like to set the contour, and but also like to define it a little bit more. So I'm going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills Bronzer in Saddle. I haven't used this in a long time. And I think this is a Elsa brush, Elsa makeup brush, but I'm not sure. Just a regular like blush bronzer brush. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my taper blending brush from Sigma and I'm dipping just a tiny bit in the bronzer. And with this, I'm going to like kind of contour the nose. I'm going to get rid of the baking powder right here. I'm not sure if I use the right color though for this, but hmm, it does look nice on the camera. Okay, I'm also going to get rid of this right here. Nose. Okay, and get rid of this powder right here. Oh my God, it does look smooth. I'm going to take a close look in a second just to see how it looks. 
I think actually she went in with powder again. It was just so much powder in that tutorial. It was really like confusing, but surprising at the same time. But I thought, yeah, let me give it a try. It's Ariel, so I think he knows what he's doing. And the Jenners and Kardashians, their makeup, I don't care what you think of them. Their makeup looks so good all the time. So um, yeah, the Huda Beauty Blondie is a little bit too yellow. So I'm going to apply a little bit of the Maybelline uh, powder to lighten that up a little. By the way, this video wasn't supposed to be an inspired video or a video that I would apply my makeup just in the same way as Ariel does. So since we're halfway there, why not use some stuff that I learned from Amy's makeup box? So, and um, she said that he liked to use a lot of pinky tones, also like pinky foundations, really surprising to me. Um, but I'm going in with a MAC Dainty blush, right? Because she said that he only used like really pinky blushes. So let's see. I also go in with my highlighter first, but that was like her, the last, the absolute last step of the makeup. Also surprising. He applied quite a lot. She also mentioned that he likes to apply the blush kind of like everywhere. So you get like a rosy glow all over. I don't know, is it me or do I look a little ashy? I miss some highlighter, I miss some moist, I miss some butter. Um, anyways, I'm going to stop right here because I think she did quite a lot of different things and then powder again and then all these techniques. But it was absolutely interesting to watch. So if you have oily skin, I think you're going to love that makeup routine. I'm going to stop right here because I'm going in with my Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist. I believe he also mixed the Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist together with the Fix Plus from MAC, like in a bottle. He really mixed it. But I'm just going in with Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist. Taking my Gide Van. I do have to admit that I do think it looks good on camera. It's really smooth and I feel like if someone would take a photograph of me with flash, I would still look good. But in real life, because that is way more important, um, I do look, yeah, I do look a little powdery, especially underneath this eye. But I do have to admit that it's not as bad as I thought. It's not like like extremely powdery. It does feel powdery, but it's not like, I don't know. It's actually not that bad, but I need my glow. I don't know, girl. I need some glow. So I'm going to do my brows off camera. I do have a new updated brow routine video up on my channel. I will link that in the description box below as well. And then I'll be right back to do the eyes because I don't know what we're going to do with the eyes. I do, I do kind of know. I do kind of know. So so the brows are done and today I'm actually going to use a new uh, palette. It's from Lawless and it's called The One. I've never used it, but I think I swatched it real quick. But uh, these are the shades and I do think they look beautiful. It's kind of like the Huda Beauty New Nude together with like Soft Glam and the Stage Beverly Hills and New Nude from Huda Beauty Had a Baby. And that's The One from Lawless. And um, I heard someone talk, I think it was Tati. I believe it was Tati that was talking about this in her 2018 favorites video. So I thought, hey, I still have this one in the drawer. So let me try this and we are going to do something simple, but something not simple with the eyes. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm going to zoom you in. Okay, I am going to use my Sigma blending brush in E25. And uh, let's see, what shade are we going to use? Let's use Steady, which is this shade right here. And as always, I'm going to pack the color onto the lid. Make sure you have no creases. Mm, pigmentation, check. So now I'm going to take my medium blending brush from the crayon case and I'm going in with, um, let's see, next level, the shade right here. And I'm going to blend the edges while adding a little bit of this next level color. Okay, so the eyeshadows are actually super like easy to blend. Now I'm taking my Sigma taper blending brush. It's a clean brush and I'm going to blend the edges. So going back in with my Creon case brush, I'm going to take a little bit of feels right here 
and I'm going to blend kind of like between the two colors. So this shade is slightly darker than next level, but lighter than, what was it, steady. I'm going to do the same on the other eye. Okay, so I did the other eye as well. I think I'm going in with Play Cool. You guys know I have to use a little bit of a cool tone or else I feel like meh. So I'm going to use this color right here, um, still with my Sigma brush, E25, yes. And I'm going to place this in my crease, but on the outside of the crease. Outside, you know, second part, outwards, outside, English. Okay, here we go. So right there, okay, same here. I'm going to take our crayon case brush again and just going to blend it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut the crease, but you guys remember it was one of my favorite looks I did. It was the tropical look from Glam Season. I kind of like started my cut crease right here instead of like, you know, where my eyelid would be. So I'm starting right here and it was so beautiful and unique, even if I say it myself. And I had it from, um, it was Ahmad or Ahmed makeup artist on Instagram. But I'm going to use high coverage concealer from Becca on the back of my hand, on the back on the back of my hand, doing the cut crease YOLO freestyle and that's all I have. That didn't even rhyme. <laughs> I'm just quit rapping. I shouldn't rap or sing, just stick to makeup, I know. <laughs> I'm going to use my shader lit brush from Sigma to cut the crease. I always need silence, no staring, silence. Concentración, por favor. Okay, that looks pretty good. So that looks pretty good to me, but we still have to um, apply eyeliner and we are going to do something fun with the under eyes. Oh, let's hope the other eye is going to look good as well. So I did the other eye as well. Although I do like the front, I don't like the outer part. So I didn't really finish it because I thought we were going to apply like darker shadows anyway. So uh, what I did was I applied first base, this like white uh, matte color, which is a beautiful matte color because you don't see that very often, you know, like good matte really light eyeshadow colors so um i applied that and now i am going to you know make this a little prettier by using um, mm, mm, i don't know i'm going to apply this dtr color beautiful brown color and i'm going to smoke out the kind of like the outer part of the eye but i'm going to mainly focus on the outer part so i don't want to bring any eyeshadows to the lid or you know towards the crease so I'm going in with this color, just packing the color like this. It's a beautiful, cool toned brown color. Okay, so now I'm actually blending it a little bit like that. So same on the other side. Okay, so far that looks really good if you ask me. I do think it is a little patchy over here, but that was because there was a little bit of shimmer on my brush, which sucks. But we'll fix that in a second. Ugh, itchiness. Now I'm going to take a feels of this color right here, and I'm going to apply this next to DTR. So right here. So going in with next level, which is probably my favorite shade from this palette. Next to this one. I'm also going to use a little bit of butterflies, which is this yellow matte color. And I'm placing it right here. So since this part is still quite patchy because of the concealer, I think it didn't really dry. I'm going in with a little bit of the black color, but just a tiny bit because I want to darken that up or else it's just going to annoy me. Now I'm going in with a little bit of Lit Cosmetics um, glitters and this is Modern Love. And I think I'm just going to apply this on the whole lid. 
just a tiny bit so we have kind of like glitters everywhere because I haven't used a lid in a long time and I actually ooh, do really love the glitters. I think maybe it's like the most prettiest glitters I've ever seen. The most prettiest. That's double. The most beautiful or the prettiest. <laughs> I'm getting better in English. I'm going to apply the glitters with the Motives um, glitter gel. The back of my hand. You see how beautiful those glitters are. They are like so tiny, but so pretty. See that it almost looks wet. Oh my goodness. <gasps> I'm living for this look. This is so beautiful. What y'all know about a thin supermodel? Oh my God. So if you are getting married soon, Go get yourself these glitters because i mean because mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. that looks beautiful i think that looks pretty 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 good i'm going to do something fun with the under eye as i said i'm going to use the armani palette in number five which is called paparazzi and i'm going to use my sigma firm shader brush and i'm going to use this beautiful blue color i mean isn't this color super beautiful Okay, I'm taking my Urban Decay Tightline brush because this one is a bit smaller. So I can work a little bit more precise with this. So I'm just going back and forth to kind of like intensify the color. Color is not really intense, but the color itself looks really good. So honestly, I was not really impressed with the blue eyeshadow from um, Armani because I don't know if you can see it, but I was really trying to get some pigment um, out of it, but I don't know. I do like the color, but it's like, uh, I don't want light blue. I don't want gray blue. I want blue blue. So I grabbed my Mr. Right um, eyeliner pencil from The Balm in Say More Compliments. And I am going to uh, place it on my waterline, but I'm also going to kind of like use it as an eyeshadow as well. So we have a nice blue under eye area. So the one that I'm going to use is the Huda Beauty uh, ta -ta -ta, Saphir Obsessions. I'm going with this beautiful dark br um, brown, blue color. And I'm going to kind of like blend this because this is... <laughs> so we kind of like have Egypt on the eyes and Greece on the lower lash line. I still have to get used to the fact that I have no glow on my skin. And it kind of like annoys me. So I think I'm just going to put a lot of highlighter on my face right now. So I am going to use a highlighter that is a pretty heavy highlighter. But you know, heavy glam, heavy highlighter. Going in with Jeffree Star Wet Dream. And my Sigma High Cheekbone Highlighter Brush. Oh wow. I don't know if you can see this. I do have to blend this a little better. But I feel like if you are using a lot of powder or if you have a matte base, the highlighter is just going to show off way better than with a dewy face. With a dewy face, you kind of like have a all over glow. But with a matte base, you're like pew, pew, pew. I'm going to apply some mascara, some lashes, and then I'll be right back because we are going to do the lips. And I'm still not sure what we are going to do with the lips, but probably nude as always but maybe maybe we'll do something else you never know so i apply the lashes and the mascara the mascara that i've used is as usual iconic london in boom like boom mascara and the lashes are from uh lily lashes in ayla and i also applied nyx that's the point eyeliner to get rid of the kind of like the lash band and for lips ta -da -da -da, i'm going to use purple nude I'm going to use nude. Meh. But these, you can't blame me because these are from Natasha Denona. These are new. Well, at least, <clears throat> sorry, I received them uh, two days ago. And this is in shade number eight. And I thought this looks so gorgeous. I know maybe it will look too nude. I do have to say that when I tried them on my lip a little bit, because when I received it, I was like, <laughs> get on my lips right now. Um, it did feel a little dry. So we'll see what happens. But I think I will use a tiny bit of gloss after this. I'm going in with my MAC lip liner in Strip Down. Okay. Oh my god, this is so nude. 
Okay, we have to mix this with the lip liner. Actually, I think I'm just going to leave it like that. I know it does feel a little dry, but it's not like horrible. I do think with liquid lipsticks, you don't need to, if it's a little bit more on the dry side, you don't need to go in like I did. You just need a tiny bit on a brush or on your finger, and then you just like dab it into, like onto the lip instead of like going in all the way, I think. One more time, I'm going in with Touch of Dewy Skin Mist. So that is pretty much the look for today. I had something... No, I actually had something similar in mind, but a little bit more simple, a little bit more wearable. But I still really love the glam. I also really love how the lip really like match with the peachy color right there. And this lip color is, you guys, <laughs> it's so good. The Lawless palette is actually really good, but I do have to use it more often to see if it was my concealer that made the eye look a little patchy, especially on this side, or maybe it was the eyeshadow, but I do think it's a good palette, but I have to use it more often. In real life, it does look a little powdery and matte, but nothing too crazy, nothing too like, ooh, like makeup-ish. But um, yeah, on camera, it does look good. So I'm actually really impressed. Hmm. I'm learning more and more each day. Anyways, I hope you guys like this look. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, follow me on my other social channels, leave a comment and be my friend. And that's it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.